Now we will talk about the conditions which are required for the growth of the microorganisms or the suitable conditions or the conditions in which the microorganisms grow very rapidly very fast they develop very fast. So, we are talking about suitable or required conditions for the growth of microorganisms. Here we are discussing about the suitable or required conditions for the growth of the microorganisms. We all know to sustain uh, or just take example that you are uh, in a you all are uh, studying you all are in a school to enjoy to flourish to develop yourself you need certain conditions good conditions. If you get that favorable conditions then the chances of development increased increases. In the same way we talk about any living creature if the suitable conditions are there if the conditions are favorable then the growth become faster the reproduction the rate of the reproduction becomes more it get increased the, the species get more developed. Now what are the conditions which are required for the growth of the microorganisms. Now very basic thing we all know living creatures need need oxygen that means they need air to breathe in. But in case of microorganisms there are certain microorganisms which do not need uh, air or we can say that there are certain microorganisms which are uh, which are uh, which can flourish or which leaves in the absence of air. But air mainly generally air is required food is required if we talk about ourselves what do we need what do we need to be alive we need first of all air then we need water we need food these three things are very very important for us in the same way when we talk about the microorganisms what all things are there which is required for the proper growth of the microorganisms. So basically again what is very very important we will talk about air definitely oxygen I am talking about water food in case of microorganisms we will also talk about the temperature. So, these are the main points which we are going to discuss these are the like these are the things their presence and absence make the conditions suitable or the favorable or the unfavorable. Now first of all we are talking about air. So when we talk about air obviously we are talking about the presence of or absence of oxygen. Oxygen is very very essential for the living creatures especially when I talk about the animals. There are certain microorganisms which are uh, known as aerobic microorganisms are aerobic means what the microorganisms which grow which flourish which uh, flourish which develop in presence of the oxygen. There are certain microorganisms which grow, develop, reproduce in presence of oxygen. That means I am not saying that they are reproduced in presence of oxygen, but I am saying that they require oxygen to be alive. So, there are certain microorganisms, there are certain microorganisms which requires oxygen to be alive. 
those organisms or those microorganisms especially I am talking about are known as aerobic microorganisms those microbes or microorganisms here I have written 2 O which requires oxygen to be alive or to grow are aerobic microorganisms. Now, I am specially here talking about the aerobics one. Those microorganisms which cannot live without oxygen, I am talking about those organisms. So, basically the microorganisms require oxygen to grow. If oxygen is present in the proper amount, obviously the microorganisms will be able to grow and to develop. Now, there are certain microorganisms which do not require oxygen and then in presence of oxygen they would not be able to grow. When I talk about the microorganisms which requires oxygen, okay, I am talking about the microorganisms which requires oxygen. I can say Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus. Now, these are the microorganisms which requires oxygen. Now, if I talk about certain microorganisms which do not require oxygen means anaerobic microorganisms which cannot survive in presence of oxygen are known as anaerobic microorganisms those cannot survive those microorganisms which can survive in presence of oxygen. Example Escherichia coli which is found in the intestine and this is the microorganism which which do not require oxygen, but basically I am talking about the oxygen. There are certain microorganisms mainly which requires oxygen. If oxygen is present in the good amount, then these microorganisms will be able to develop and grow in a proper way. Now, when we talk about the next point, what is the next point? The next point is about the water. When I say water, that means here in the case of microorganism I am talking about moisture. We all know water wherever water is present life is present and same is the case with microorganisms also the presence of water or the presence of moisture increases the development, the growth, the rate of the reproduction of the microorganisms. That means, when we talk about the favorable conditions or the conditions which are required or the conditions which is necessary for the growth of the microorganism, water plays a major role in that. All microorganisms require moisture for the proper growth. All microorganisms require moisture for the proper growth. So, we can write moisture is required for the proper growth, proper growth of the microorganism. This was our first condition, this is our 
second condition now we will be talking about the third condition now air is important for us also water is required by like we require water now i'm talking about food we require food plants require food all living organism require food then how can we say that microorganisms can survive without food definitely they require food now it depends upon the kind of the microorganism we have discussed that the microorganisms can be parasite or can be saprophyte that means heterotrophic mode of nutrition is there except we talk we are not talking about algae now now if we talk about algae then what will be required that i'll be discussing later now i'm talking about food especially for heterotrophic if i talk about the microorganisms which cannot prepare their own food they depend upon the another organism for the food they can have parasitic mode of nutrition we have discussed this thing very nicely in detail in the chapter so i won't be discussing much over here so when i say that the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic it can be parasitic or saprophytic depending upon the conditions depending upon the microorganisms now if we talk about the mushrooms fungus they are saprophytic now if i talk about the uh, any another kind of microorganisms i may talk about certain bacteria which follow the parasitic mode of nutrition so food is required whether the microorganism is heterotrophic means they are parasitic or saprophytic whatever mode of nutrition is there food is required by the microorganisms also they may uh, get their food directly or indirectly from other plants other animals maybe from dead and decay part of the plants maybe from the sewage maybe from the any waste but they need food as we do if i talk about the autotrophic mode of nutrition the microbes which requires uh, or which has uh, chlorophyll algae if i talk about then what is the requirement of algae then i cannot write food over there then i will write whatever conditions are required for the photosynthesis now we know if i talk about algae we have discussed this thing in detail that algae are the one which have chlorophyll they have chlorophyll that means they are autotrophs when i say that these are autotrophs that means they require sunlight they require water they require carbon dioxide or whatsoever whatsoever means in general i have written air over there so even whatever is required for them to prepare food then i need to say like this if the microorganisms are heterotrophic then they require food it can be in the form of the some dead or decay organism it can be a dead plant dead animal the uh, food can be you know uh, absorbed by the dead material which is present in the soil or on the soil it can be the food can be absorbed by certain uh, from the body of other organisms so when we talk about now next algae they have chlorophyll that means they are autotrophs and when they are autotrophs that means they can make their own food when they make their own food what are the conditions which they need or they require to make food they need definitely sunlight they need water and they need air now we are going to talk about the fourth requirement of the microorganisms and here i am talking about the next one which is temperature now if i talk about 
temperature. Now, temperature, uh, all microorganisms have their own temperature where they are more suitable, they can, they have different ranges of temperature. But if I talk broadly, if I talk broadly then from 25 degrees Celsius to 38 degrees Celsius is the maximum comfortable range for the microorganism is maximum comfortable range comfortable range in which in which microorganisms can survive. So, they need a optimum an optimum level of temperature below 20 that means when we all know uh, when we talk about very less temperature the microorganisms it is not necessary that all microorganisms will die, but they will not be in active condition. Please mark this, please note this, this is very very important to understand that microorganisms may it is not at all always necessary that if you reduce the temperature or you increase the temperature microorganisms will die. No, we have discussed this thing that they form spores, microorganisms form spores and that is the reason microorganisms are able to survive in the adverse conditions also. What is the meaning of adverse? The meaning of adverse is unfavorable condition because the microorganism has the capacity to form spores. We have discussed this thing in the chapter. So, that is the reason that I am not saying that when the temperature will be reduced all microorganisms will die. No, but they have the capability to survive in those adverse conditions, but the thing is that they will not reproduce, they will not grow, but just they will become inactive and they will become inactive means they will not be in condition to harm us. They would not suppose if I am talking about the food, if food is not heated in summer days I am talking about example I am talking about some good curry vegetable which is being cooked in the morning and is kept till midnight. If it is not boiled again in these long hours organism microorganism will attack and you will understand by the foul smell that this is not uh, in the we cannot consume now we cannot eat this why because the root and smell will be there. But when we heat that the microorganisms becomes inact inactive and uh, definitely some microorganisms die also on heating and on uh, boiling especially in the pressure cooker especially. So, what I am saying is in short that when we talk about temperature the, the best temperature on which the microorganism can flourish, they can develop, they can grow, they can reproduce is between 25 degrees Celsius to 38 degrees Celsius. Temperature higher than, than this can uh, kill them or can make them inactive. Temperature lower than this can again kill them or can make them inactive again depending upon the species of the microorganism. Now, the next point which I will be discussing is the fifth one and which is the about sunlight. Now, sunlight if I talk about sunlight only the algas, alga requires sunlight which we have already discussed that algae requires sunlight algae requires sunlight. But if I talk about direct sunlight, strong light, microorganisms cannot develop over there, direct sunlight will definitely kill the microorganism. Remember sometimes the leather jacket during the uh, you know rainy, rainy, rainy season during the monsoon 
when the jackets the leather jackets are used and kept because some in rainy season it is not the case that always it will rain but we use leather jacket once and then we see that no weather is changed and we keep the jacket leather jacket as such we fold and keep leather shoes we wear and then we keep oh it become it is now wet and now just will we can you know sometimes we keep it in the cupboard obviously shoe cupboard and after some time when we take it out we will find certain white color we have studied this if you see fungus why it is so because you have not kept the uh, jacket or you have not kept, kept the uh, kept the shoes in presence of sunlight and so the microorganisms grow there nicely all the microorganisms they require all the means I am not talking about algae I am talking about the other microorganisms they grow and flourish well mostly in dark damp moist, moist places dark places shade in place where the sunlight direct sunlight is not present in shade and uh, where the amount the moisture is present where the dead or decay material is present so in case of sunlight when we talk about sunlight direct sunlight kills the microorganism strong there is no place now to write strong or direct sunlight kills the microorganism direct sunlight kills the microorganism we are talking about certain conditions which are very very important for the proper growth of the microorganisms as every living organism requires certain things to develop to grow to flourish now what are the suitable conditions for us we require oxygen we require many things i'm not i'm not saying but basically we cannot remain without air you know even for 10 minutes i'm talking about myself i cannot even i cannot be alive uh, for more than 5 minutes so uh, air is required then we need water and third is food these are the three conditions which are very very important for us similarly when we talk about microorganisms they require air there are certain microorganisms which could not grow which could not grow in the presence of air that is another case which are known as anaerobic uh, organism microorganism risk they need oxygen and they are known as aerobic microorganisms now after this they require water or we say that moisture is required wherever moisture is there life is there wherever water is there life is there and definitely microorganisms also require water now when we talk about the next point food certain microorganisms depends upon another organism for their food they may live inside the another organism's body they live on the another organism body they may feed upon dead organism they may feed upon dead and decay part matter and but the food is required when we talk about algae they are the one which are autotrophs that means they prepare their own food and when they prepare their own food that means all the conditions which are uh, required for the by the plants even they require because they are what aquatic plants actually so they require chlor they have chlorophyll they require sunlight water and air now if we talk about the temperature the best temperature is the 25 the minimum or the maximum ranges between 25 to 30 this is also uh, very important it may vary from species to species i have written just approx over here now when we talk about sunlight direct sunlight will kill the microorganisms if the microorganism has to flourish they have to grow they need uh, dark places at in presence of direct sunlight the microorganisms get killed these all are the conditions which are required by the microorganism for their proper growth now uh, we will talk about the next topic uh, actually all the details we have discussed about the about this uh, chapter 
and now definitely we are going to talk about the question answers of the first of all NCRT and then we will be talking about few certain extra questions also. So with this topic uh, I would like to end this chapter and now we are going to discuss uh, NCRT question answers. Please note this. Thank you.